Hey guys, it's your Tent Paladin, and welcome back! As you can see, there's still an Inktober video, and all the footage from this video, this day 22 onwards, are all the stuff that I did post Inktober. And I'll explain that in a little bit. So in the last video, I talked about where I've, where I've been, and a few of my reasons why I didn't complete Inktober. And I ran out of footage in the end to keep on talking, so this is sort of like the continuation. So, I'll be talking mostly about why it's okay to fail, and why it's bad to go into things half-heartedly. So I mentioned in the last video that I linked in the end card and also probably in the description if I, re if I remember. Um, I came into the project rather half-heartedly. I was busy at work, I was enjoying work, I wanted to do still more colored stuff, but out of, I guess, online peer pressure, but not really. I saw everyone doing it, and I did it last year, so I was pressured, or I wanted to participate in this year's Inktober. But it was very half-hearted me. I was doing it just for the sake of doing it. And unlike last year, I had some, I had a lot of motivation and hype to do it. And it's not okay to go things into things half-heartedly, especially if you're like me. I tend to work a lot better, or I tend to finish things a lot more if I know someone is waiting for it. Like, I have a responsibility towards someone to complete it. For example, in work, I know that if I don't submit my thing, it will screw nearly the entire team over because we can't send it to our client or anything like that, so I tend to be a lot more pressured to complete something. Unlike with personal projects, really, there's only I'm the only one who cares in reality. So going into October half-heartedly was a, a bad decision, to be honest. And do I regret it? Just a little bit because I wish I cared a bit more. I don't regret failing, but I regret not having the heart, all of my heart, into it. So as you can see, towards the end of ink, towards the end last time, when I just stopped completely and stopped uploading, I burned out of sorts of working on it. I didn't want to look at it. I didn't want to work on it at all. Um, I could have caught up, to be honest, if I really tried. But when I go through the sketches or the inks of some of the works, I just feel really disappointed because it was like, it was there was no feeling into it and um there's no passion or joy and you could see in the drawings that i was just doing it for the sake of doing it which is kind of sad to be honest and i didn't want to put out any video or instagram posts or anything with that kind of feeling in the picture because even normally when I post like sketches or just like jabs in Instagram, it's big the works the, the drawings themselves still have a lot of I guess you could say love and passion in it. But the Inktober ones very, very slowly started to become just empty to me. And that isn't a good feeling to have and that's not a good attitude to have for any kind of project. And a lot of people would say that don't go into projects half heartedly because you end up with terrible results and you're just not happy that's super true <laughs> even though the point of inktober was to draw or to force yourself to draw daily um i wasn't happy doing it perhaps it just wasn't i just didn't feel like doing it this year or i just really didn't want to draw daily works up work circumstances or whatever but really, it is a bad decision to go into it half-heartedly. Nonetheless, now that I've taken a break, um, I do want to continue it since, hey, I was already at day 21. It's, it's a waste to not continue it. And really, no one is stopping me or you to continue it. Sure, it's already out of vogue for now until next year, but really, no one will stop me and or no one will really care whether I finish it or not. And why do I want to finish it? Really, there's, I just want to do it again. I just, I just don't... I want to complete the challenge, even though I'm not really doing it daily anymore. 
I, I still wanna do it because it's something I started and it's something I know I can end and I'm not really completely sick of the concept of it. I just needed a break to sort of realign myself and recover from being sick and it's fun to be honest. I like drawing things that have a theme occasionally and Inktober allows me to just draw. So I'm gonna continue it. There's really no harm in doing so. So yeah, that's pretty much I guess the point of this particular video. I did end up with three videos after all. Huh, <sighs> just two videos. Oh, well, two and a half I guess talking about Inktober. So yes, I guess those are some tips. Uh how to survive failing a project. Number one, it's okay to fail. I know it's pretty hard to fail. It's like it really hurts your ego and you feel like a failure, but if it's your personal project, who cares? I mean, you're the only one who's working on it. You can take it up again anytime. Like what I'm doing, I'm just taking Inktober up again out of a whim. And it's just do it at your own pace. Even though Inktober's challenge was to do it daily, if you can't, if circumstances really can't, even though people say um, it's up to you, like if it's your priority, uh, you would do it daily, but to be honest, it wasn't my priority at that time. But really, still, who's gonna stop you from continuing your project? Unless you're already so sick of it that you don't wanna look at it anymore, um, maybe nothing's stopping you from just taking it up again. And if you feel you're not happy with your project anymore or you don't think you're gonna be ever happy with it again, again, no one's stopping you from stopping it. And even if people say, oh, it's a waste, but if you're not happy with it anymore, that's even worse, right? So, yeah. I'm just lucky that I'm not sick of Inktober, that I'm still able to derive a lot of good ideas from it. And... I just wanted to complete the project nonetheless. So yeah. So I guess it's a bit obvious that for the next couple of videos, I had a lot of videos, well, a couple. I was starting to add a lot of videos actually. I had a couple of videos already queued in my edit bay post Inktober, but since I have a lot of footage, I still need to record for Inktober itself. Um, in the next couple of videos, maybe the two, three, two or three videos I will be still working on Inktober pieces and I'll just like talk about random topics or I'll just talk about the process like I used what I used to do for Inktober and we'll see where I end up from that. Um what else? Ah, I guess update health wise if you care. As you can tell from my voice I'm a lot better. It doesn't sound clogged anymore. I'm still on my meds and I'm still coughing but the cold is pretty much gone. Um, I don't really feel like there's any phlegm stuck in my chest anymore. I'm just coughing, I guess. So I'll be observing this for the next couple of days. If it goes away completely, I don't need to go to a doctor anymore. If it doesn't stop, I might have to go to a more specialized doctor in a bigger hospital and have this checked out. But I'm doing a lot better, as you can tell, maybe from my voice. Um, I just woke up when I'm recording this, so maybe that's why it's a bit lower and I'm a lot less hyper than usual. I haven't even eaten breakfast. Right, so this uh, video was from day 22 to 24. The themes were Trail, Juicy, and Blind. And for this particular piece for Blind, uh, I recently bought the Sakura Koi uh, brush liner brush pen liner thingy because finally the stationery section or stationery store that i go to finally stocked the black ink ones because they usually stock like the blue the green red i think but they never either i'm just unlucky and it runs out by the time i get there but they almost never stock this black brush pen and when i saw it i just like snatched it up 300 <laughs> percent and I kind of like it. I need to learn how to control line weights, but um, yeah, it's pretty fun to be honest. And since this isn't strictly Inktober anymore, I decided I wanted to add some color, so I'm using some of my 
polychromos to add color to my pieces and bonus points if you can figure out who this is before I add the color to it. Well, never mind. At this point, you should have known who this is if you, if you, um, are as much as a weeb as I am. <laughs> but yeah, um, I guess if you feel like interacting with me, um, tell me what do you feel about failing challenges? If you do fail challenges or projects, uh, how do you deal with it? And do you ever take it up again? Or do you ever just continue it for the sake of continuing it? And yeah, just let me know in the comments because I really want to know what other people think when failing challenges. Like, is it okay to continue it even if the challenge period is over? Or do you think you just like, do you just drop it completely? How do you deal with, I don't know, the disappointment with yourself that you weren't able to complete the challenge? And yeah, I just want to talk about that, I guess. So to be honest, the work that I'm doing for Inktober, now that it's done, uh, they still aren't my 100%. They're still kind of sketchy and just like really plain. But they're a lot more intricate than what I've done like, in the 19th to 20th days. So that ends the video. I hope you guys enjoyed. Follow me on Tumblr, Instagram, and DeviantArt. And I will see you around.